thank you very much for another opportunity to come your way with a new video. Today we are going to look at CRD. Yes, the disease CRD. We are going to look at what it means for your, your bed or your chicken to have CRD. We also look at the treatment, how we can treat CRD when our beds are infected with it. And we also look at how we can prevent CRD and as well as um, the signs and symptoms. But before we start, I want us to share ideas. What does CRD stand for? Yes, CRD. What does it stand for? So in the comment section, let's share ideas. Some people may refer to it as um, a, a chronic um, respiratory disorder. Others call it a chronic respiratory um, disease. So let's see, how do you call CRD? Let's share ideas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and welcome back. Yes, in our challenge, we sought to find out from you the full meaning of CRD. And CRD stands for chronic respiratory disease. Chronic respiratory disease. Yes, this disease is caused by bacteria. And the bacteria is called Mycoplasma galiceticum. Mycoplasma galiceticum. Yes, it is a bacteria. And this virus, when it infects your bed, it stresses the respiratory system to the point that it really causes a lot of problems to your bed. So first, let's look at the signs and symptoms. The signs and symptoms. So one, when your bed is infected or your bed is suffering from a CRD, it finds it very difficult to breathe. So you see sniffing, your bed begins to sniff. Sniffing. Two, your bed sneezes. So sneezing is another sign when your bed is infected with CRD. Then you also see that your bed will begin to cough. So coughing is another sign or another symptom should your bed be infected with a CRD. Then physically you realize that your bed becomes so immobile. Mostly they, they stand at one point and begin to stretch their neck. So sometimes you can stand afar and you observe from them, you see that they'll be stretching their neck. So there are other diseases that could exhibit, that could make your bed exhibit such signs and symptoms. And so for you to be so sure that this is a CRD, I always advise farmers that you get in touch with your veterinary officer to actually confirm that this is CRD. So now let's look at how we can prevent CRD. So prevention. Prevention. The first thing we can do to prevent CRD disease is that one, we should make sure that we regularly remove the manure, that is the pets dropping from the farmhouse. The reason is that when there are droplets or there is, there, are some, there is water dropping on the manure, it begins to rot and it releases what we call ammonia gas. And ammonia gas could carry the bacteria. So ammonia gas should never be present on the farm. So always make sure that you regularly remove the manure. Again, make sure that there is no dust in the farmhouse where the beds are located. Make sure that there, there is no dust. Again, you need to prevent rodents from moving or getting close to the beds that is having any form of contact with the beds, rodents. So it could be rats, it could be um, mice or form of rodents. Again, there shouldn't be any form of contact from wild beds. 
So your birds should not have any form of contact with wild birds. Wild birds could actually carry the virus. Now let's look at the effects effect of CRD. When your bed is infected with CRD, with time it reduces production. That is beds that are kept for laying eggs. So you realize that there will be a drop in the number of eggs that you get in a day. Then beds that have not reached the maturity period to produce eggs you really you realize that it retards their growth so it, it slows down their growth they'll be eating all right but their growth progress reduces so these are some of the effects of CRD now let's look at how we can actually treat CRD how can we treat CRD when our beds are infected with CRD? So treatment. Thankfully, there are a number of antibiotics that could help treat CRD infection. So you can actually talk to your veterinary officer when you suspect that there is a CRD. He comes to conduct the, the, the necessary checks and if it is confirmed that it is CRD, always go by the recommendation of your veterinary officer. But for sure, you can treat CRD with antibiotics. For you to have a successful treatment, there is always the need to manage stress. When your bed is infected with CRD, they become very stressful. They become stressed out and in this case, there is the need to manage the stress. Sometimes you can give them um, multivitamins to reduce their stress, also to boost their appetite in order to eat whilst you are treating the CRD. Thank you very much for staying with me and always come back please to watch our videos, share them, pass comments on our videos, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.